three is. It's a big one too. Three is a giant. Beautiful, healthy one. You can tell these fish eat good in here. That is literally a football. I missed a pen here yesterday. Beautiful first fish. Awesome. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video today. Got my buddy Connor with me. Thank you. And uh, we're about to go catch some big fish, aren't we? We're about to go catch some big ones. I hope so. Well, so today, for today's video, what we're going to be doing is he's going to be picking out my lures. And this whole challenge deal, this whole thing, is dedicated to Lojo. Lojo started this whole thing. Or There's there's a few other people that did it, but Lojo is the main main person on it. So shout out to Lojo. I'll link his channel below. You said you have a channel, right? No. You don't have a channel? Well, when he creates his channel, because I'm going to talk him I, into I, I, it, I, I'll, I'll end up shouting out his channel. But we're about to go into Walmart. He's about to pick out my lures. Let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, man. This is my buddy right here. We actually just met. We just met and all but man, yeah. he makes music what are you uh what's what's your name man all right what's so, your rapping name so my name is jiggy gemini you feel me i'm from i'm from st louis missouri uh i just moved down here to to georgia uh, a couple couple months ago but go check him out man i just thought i'd give him a shout out yeah All right, everyone, inside Walmart right now. All right, Connor, so this is the thing. Connor's picking me out. We, we decided on three baits, so three different lures. He's gonna pick them out, and I'm also gonna pick out three for him as well. That's what we're gonna do. Instead of him just picking them out for me, I'm gonna pick out three for him, and we're all gonna, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna try to catch a bass on at least one of those lures, yeah, like a piece, fair. at least one bass on each lure. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, Connor. Okay, go with the white china bait. Which one, go ahead and grab it. He said he was gonna take it easy on me today because he said there's big fish, fish. And I talked to him, I was like, I wanna catch fish, so don't kill me. And it's my first, you know, lure picking challenge. So let me see what you got. So you got the you got the chatterbait? Alright, alright. What else? What else we got? Black buzz bait since they don't have any whopper floppers. Alright, so you can grab that one. Alright, cool. What else? What, what's for the final one? I'm gonna have to go lizards. Same thing. Just gonna destroy it on top water, push the buzzing on top. A lizard? Harvest. What color are you going? You going to that? Darker one? It's a little darker one? Alright. Like he, he almost grabbed the chartreuse pepper guys and you guys know in the recent challenges I picked that out for Lojo and fishing with Norm. That's just been the juice lately But let me see what you got. What color? It's a little dingy. I've always run with like box cool. and blue. Awesome. All right guys about to pick out his lures I'm picking three for him. Let's start off with soft plastics I think I'm gonna pick up pick him out two soft plastics. I have some things in mind because I think it'd be really cool. So I Gotta go with the guys um, Man, I have to do it chartreuse pepper lizards. You know why I have to do this? because one, this bait's very juicy. Two, I have a video coming out, possibly in the next couple of weeks, on this bait where I actually absolutely smashed them. Oh my. There we go, baby. On the lemon pepper, bro. Come on now. I'll take them. I mean, the lemon pepper just gets it, guys. And then three, I picked these out for Lojo and Fishing with Norm. So I have to pick them out for my boy Connor because I know he's going to catch a toad on them because it's worked every other time. Third time's a charm too, man. You might catch a 10 pounder. Okay. It, it might happen. Missed one yesterday. It might happen. All right, let's, let's move on to the second one. Let's see. Um, I was looking at the Ned Rigs. So you got Green Pumpkin, Canada Crawl right there. I'm, I'm going to get them out some Ned Rigs. We'll get them some little jig heads as well. And lastly, let's get them a top water. Let's go with top water see what they got. There we go. And go with this little rebel popper right there. That's gonna be his three baits that I picked for him. And we're gonna give him some jig heads for this. So guys, I got him the popper, the lizards, and the netter. Well, he didn't mention on camera. I might have to fire him after this because he's just met he's messing me up. I think we're he doesn't have a spinning pole with him. He doesn't have a spinning rod with him, which I respect. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna treat him that dirty, alright? So I am gonna get him a pack of old Sankas. But we have some yum dingers. We're gonna go with these yum dingers right here. These are uh, a little more inexpensive than the Gary Yamamoto. So we're going to be going with the Pop R for him, Lizards, Yum Dingers. Hey guys, so we got picked out the Charbait white shad color one. This should do good in the grass. Oh, that should be juicy, dude. That's a that We got whack the Moxon Blue 6 inch Zoom Finesse Lizards. Buzzing them on top of the water or just fishing them like a worm. Both both have killed it recently. And lastly, since they didn't have walk ploppers in this, that's the best bait for that pond. Got to go with the buzz bait. There we go. Black buzz bait by right. Strike King. Oh man, that looks good. All right, as you guys know, I got him the chartreuse pepper lizards. I'm kind of jealous, honestly. I'm kind of jealous. He, I mean, he got me some lizards as well, but the chartreuse pepper guys, selling him some juice. And then I got him the old yum dinger since we couldn't get the uh, the uh, Ned rig because he didn't have a spinning rod. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a little slack on that. And then we got the little rebel pop art right there. 
So we're gonna try to get some top water action today. And of course, we're gonna rig those up on a Texas rig, see what we can do. And then I got my chowder bait that I think we could catch a big one on. So we're gonna go give it a try. Let's go ahead and get out on the water. Yeah, so starting to rig everything up. I gotta tie on the old lizards, buzz bait and chowder bait real quick. And then he has to tie on Senko, popper, and lizards as well. Chartreuse pepper lizards. But man, I can't wait. We're about to get this thing started. I'm bringing three rods down there. I was only gonna bring like two, but I might as well just tie all the baits on each rod and just tote them all down there and see what we can throw together. Near the Mall of Georgia, more of. Oh, yeah, 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 I know you're right. Not Gainesville. All right, everyone, I got my poles rigged up. As you can tell, I got a buzz bait, I got a chowder bait, and then my lizard. I do need to get a trailer for that chowder bait since I don't have one. I'm gonna have to grab that out of my truck vault here in a second. Um, got my camera ready, and then I have my old pack of uh, lizards right here. So, Connor, what are you doing, man? Tying on a Texas rig. Tying on your Texas rig. He's gonna put his uh, little chartreuse, or no, you're putting your. Uh, on top of the wire to my there you go. He's putting his, pepper. he's putting his little uh, yum dinger right there. He's putting his Senko on, and then he's got his chartreuse pepper lizard. And then what's your last bait? The popper. Mm -hmm. You might catch one on that, man. I think you, I think I you think might. I agree. And the good thing about Connor is he comes prepared, man. Look at this. He's got a GoPro strapped on him, so you guys are actually gonna get both views. That's killer. So uh, be sure to smash that like button. I never All right, everyone, just get out to this beautiful pond right here. I was actually just telling Connor, I've, I've been here years ago, and it's kind of crazy because I've tried to film a video with my buddy Connor Angley, and it just didn't work out. But man, we're back at it here today. Hopefully, we're gonna catch a big fish. Hopefully, he puts us on him. I missed a 10 here yesterday, so I think we got a pretty good chance. So he missed a 10. What'd you uh, miss it on? Whopper flopper. And what did you catch yesterday? I caught a five over there, whopper flopper. I caught a, a seven in here right here throwing out a giant swim bait i mean I, there's some there's a 13 pound bass in here there's some big fish in well, here. man I'm gonna, I'm gonna take his word guys and hopefully we can catch one today all right guys i'm actually gonna start off with this chowder bait i'm gonna throw it along this grass right here it's actually kind of clear it's not as dirty as i thought it would be surprised somebody hasn't cut this down more it used to be like that a couple years ago wow There he is. Oh, he's tiny. <laughs> On the chatterbait, though. I don't mind knocking the chatterbait off the list. That kind of scared me. He's talking about all these big fish guys, and I got a. I'm not lying. I know, I know he's not. I, he's not lying either, because I knew somebody here. But when I got a bite, it, my heart stopped. I was like, oh gosh, here, a baby. Baby little guy. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to pop that up on the screen, but. First fish of the day, man. I'll take it just to get the monkey off her back and get one on the bank. Chowder bait is officially knocked off. I'm gonna keep keep on throwing it because it's the best thing I can really throw to get through this grass and have something, you know, traveling through. But pretty little guy, let's get a release on her. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a big one too. Dude, he's a giant. He's a giant. Yeah, yeah, he's a freaking toad. Look at him running. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get him out of all that gas. I can't even move him, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's all pig. Is he on there still? Is he? No. No, he is, grab him. Yes! Dude, look how fat he is! Let's go! Dude, that is the stubbiest. He's literally like three and three quarters, but he's so Dude, stubby. I told you. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's crazy. Guys, look at that. Second fish of the day. Freaking football. If I know what a football is, that that is literally a football. That's the fattest fish I've seen this time fight. of year. Holy crap. Golly, he absolutely hammered it. I thought I had about a six, seven pounder for a minute, it's but a good he's three pounder. He's a solid three, I'd say three and three quarters with how thick he is. I mean, he's a heavy fish. But man, on a chatterbait, we're gonna get back out there. It's almost hard for me not to switch from that because I can get such a long cast out there with that chatterbait. But man, if we can catch him like this, 
We'll have an amazing day out here. Let's get a release on her. Just started as well. Beautiful first fish. Man, that fish is almost pushing four. He's just so stubby. Let's get a release on this guy. Beautiful, healthy one. You can tell these fish eat good in here. So much bait in here. So much bait. There he goes. what they throw in those big Florida ponds too. Like when we were in Florida. Swim jigs also, I love fishing swim jigs. Oh yeah, swim jig at Whackham. Dude, he was way out there. See, that's where they are. That is literally where they are. If you could get a cast out there, that's where they're at. Way out there. See, that's where they're at. Dude, when I hook set, that's scary. Oh my gosh, I got another one. Giant, bro. He's not as big as the last one, but or honestly, he might be bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's a little bit skinnier. He's a lot skinnier. He felt huge when he hit it, though. This That's is not bad bass, though. The next cast, guys. Third fish on the chatterbait. This is the cast after the last. Look how healthy these fish are. This just, man, that's just beautiful. We're gonna get out there, see if we can catch another. The trick is, guys, it's super shallow where we're at. Like right here, right where he's pointing, it's all shallow. And where these fish are pretty much out here is way on the other side. It's pretty much where all those big fish are sitting because that's where I'm assuming there's a drop off today. That's there what I'm is. assuming. And there's that's pretty much where all the fish are. You just can't get to it to the bank, and this is the only side you can fish. And you'll see in our camera there, you'll they'll just be popping off. They'll just be jumping out there all day. Anyways, guys, third fish of the day on the chatterbait. Sounds like a chatterbait's kicking, but I'm gonna have to switch over here in a little bit. But that's back-to-back -back cast. I gotta get a third out there. Let's get a release on this guy. Here you go, guys. A little release. Pretty little fish. It's about a pound and a half. Super thick and healthy. There he goes. <laughs> Made me jump. Got that little ripple on the water too. Oh, he just hammered me. Oh, dude, I ain't kidding. I ain't kidding. With the crazy. No, he's small. He about jerked the rod out of my hand though. Fourth fish on the chatterbait. Gosh. Dude, he he hit it harder than any of those fish. He about jerked the rod in the water. I thought I missed him, but he was just really small. Little guy. Guys, I'm sorry, but I cannot put this chatterbait down until I stop catching them, and then I'm gonna start. I mean, they're just eating it too good. Yeah. That's a giant. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, he looked bigger than that. When I hook set him, he... I'm a... Yes, sir! All right, guys, just got me fish number five on the chatterbait. I got, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna throw this a couple more casts and then put it down. And I'm gonna try that lizard out there and see if I can catch one. But man, they're just eating it so good. It's so hard to stop. I wish this was a chatterbait challenge and not fan picks my lures challenge, but man, what a beautiful fish. All right, guys, we're, it's slowing down a little bit. We're still out here on the pond. We're gonna walk around to that little corner where we started off, but man, it was like on fire for a minute and just, it just shut off it's so hard. I've been throwing that lizard and that chatterbait. They were absolutely smacking, smacking guys. That chatterbait, it was insane. And the problem is you have to get such a long cast out there because that's where the fish are. What happens is it's pretty much a super shallow flat right here. That's about a foot deep. Had it got a ton of grass. And then pretty much where the fish are is pretty much a full cast out. Like, I mean, whipping it. And then it has a little drop off and that's where those fish are sitting. It's just really hard to get that bait that far. And this is the only bank that you can really fish from rather than where we started. That's what makes it so difficult. But we're gonna get back out there and see if we can catch some more. I won't catch one on it here in a minute. I want you to, cause you haven't caught one on You said you've never caught one on a chatterbait? No. Yeah. We're gonna get your first chatterbait fish today too. Here he is. Oh, dude, that's a giant, bro. Ain't it? I got you. Is he? Oh, oh. It's not bad. I'll flip him. him. He's two and a half. They look so much bigger in the water. Okay. Having These trouble there? These fish are so strong, man. These fish are so strong. Guys, this is fish number six. And I got it on the second lure, which is the lizard. Man, what a beautiful bass. Like that, that size right there, you cannot complain about. About two pounds, maybe two and a quarter if we're lucky. But man, that is just a healthy fish. Let's uh, let's get a release on this bad boy. But that's two lures done. We're gonna try the buzz bait. I don't understand. 
I don't I don't know if that's gonna work technically just because of how the conditions are maybe we can get a lucky blow up but we only have a certain area to fish so I'm kind of just trying to weave this lizard and this uh, creature bait through the grass and also through that chatter bait but let's go ahead and get a release on this guy Just do it really slow. Like I just, oh my. You got him? Yeah. I got you. Gosh. I don't get this chatterbait, man. I do not get this chatterbait. They are absolutely. Look how healthy these fish are. Connor, man. Connor's a man. Con Connor, man. Connor's a man. He's got a juicy pond here. Look, I mean, look at the. For in the that summertime, is, I mean, in the middle is... of summer. That is a fish right there. Just, I mean, he's only, I mean, about two pounds. He's so thick. I can't believe how healthy these fish are, man. It's awesome. Fat little baby. And he just slips off. All right, people, we are about to, we're about ending off the day right now, but I'd like to say thanks to Connor, man. He took me out here and, man, I had a blast. It wasn't the best day ever. I had a, I had a pretty He had a great day. Connor, it two just big ones and then didn't happen for him. One of his rods actually has the end of it was broke off and he kept casting off his baits and Popper, like plopper, first, a swim bait and a frog. Yeah, it just wasn't happening. But I told him, I was like, dude, those days happen to the best of us. I mean, he literally lived the life of me for a matter of the last few hours. I'm telling you, I, I told him, I was like, dude, I have so much bad luck. It is insane. But Overall guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did not complete the challenge. I, I needed to catch a fish on the buds bait. I did not, but I did catch a fish on two out of the three baits. So that's always a plus. But if you guys wanna see more of these videos, be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to leave a comment below on which ones you would like to see, who you would like to pick out my lures if you would like to see another. Big shout out to Lojo for you know creating this series. I'm gonna be filming a video with him this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Or we are actually out on the same pond, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you all in the next video. I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with hands, uh I get it, get it, uh, anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh, every day, uh